Hey guys, Joshua with Victory Installers channel. Um, I'm going over real quick one last little piece that we're doing here. Um, on the 100 cubic inch motors, I think if I haven't talked about it already, I'll make this is my other video for it. The timing gear actually goes behind the stator on the old 100 cubic inch motors, um, which is from 05 to 07. Um, which these are going to be discontinued soon. So if you guys want to get one, go ahead and get one. I just want to go over some real quick basics on how this all can go in. Um, the timing wheel right here, you can see I actually have it set at four degrees. Um, this side right here is the positive, you know, for advancing. This side over here is retarding side, which is for the, uh, you know, obviously to retard the engine. So when these two little hash marks, you can see a hash mark there and a hash mark right over here. When they're both lined up with each other, it's not advanced, it's not retarded, it's dead even. Um, so what you're going to do is, you can see right there, there's individual hash marks. So every time that you move it over one is a degree. So I have mine set, as you can see from that main hash mark, which is zero. The mini hash mark is one, large hash mark two, mini hash mark three. And now I have it on the large hash mark, which is at four degrees. And you can see a little plus sign sticking out. So... That's how you actually time the Lloyds um, for the timing wheel on this side. And one thing I want to let you know too, guys, make sure you're very careful right here. This is a huge magnet. It will try to take your fingers off. So make sure that you have everything in where it needs to be, um, including the shift linkage or the uh, for the shifter to put it in the gear. There's a little dowel and a little spring inside of here. You're going to want to make sure that that little dowel is in between the little spring prongs so it's in the middle and then you'll see that little dowel has its own spot too so just to give you a quick example here's what it looks like off the bike here's what the piece looks like and you can see that little spring there you're going to want to get that dowel back inside so um, just slide it on in give her a nice push I'm probably going to have to put this down because I have to use both hands but you want to make sure that you get that right here. Just want to slide this guy in over top. And slide it on in. It doesn't hurt to put oil on that, by the way, when you go to put everything back together. So um, if you guys have any other questions on this, feel free to let me know. Another one last thing to make a look to take a look at is before you start putting a gasket on and timing this thing, you have a good idea is to see where your little shift linkage is going to go. Because when you go onto the back of here, you'll want to turn it basically so it's facing the engine. So that way when you slide it on, that sucker is going to spin. It's going to spin counterclockwise when you go to put it on. And that way you can get that back on time. You want about maybe 5 to 15 degrees off center. So when you're looking at the top of the engine here, um, you're going to want to have it so it's kind of like this, you know, obviously you guys have your bike Just take a couple pictures if you're unsure, but that's about right where you're going to want it to be um, When you go to put this on so other than that, please subscribe if you guys got any questions, let me know um, And until the next segment, thanks guys